Oh my God. The power has gone out. The power is still out. It's 5 a.m. I'm exhausted. I have had no sleep. I've been without power, without gas, without running water, as you said, for more than 24 hours now, and it is downright cold outside. At this point, Encore is reporting well over 1,190,000 customers without power just in North Texas. People are suffering at this point. And I got to mention, this is the social media center. Highland Park is trending this morning. People want to know why there's no outages in that area, and I did put put in a zip code 75209 in the map legend here and there are no outages in that area but I can't explain that all I know at this point is that ERCOT is to blame for this round two this is the main round and there's a third round that I, I it truly is concerning because we're going to have a major ice storm in mm -hmm. part of the state and it's going to be really really close to the metroplex that's Tuesday night and Wednesday morning. So let's talk about round two. Round one was the appetizer we had this morning, right? And throughout the day, that little bit of light snow. But look at this. It's coming down at a pretty good clip in Weatherford. It's nine. It feels like eight below. That's the wind chill in Weatherford. All right, guys, it is day three of the historical Texas winter storm. Look what I have. That's going to tell you a lot right there. There's Mikey. Good morning, Mikey. So we have a bucket of snow it's by the fireplace because we are melting snow. It has come to the point the Electricity went off again last night, right as I was gonna watch The Bachelor. But thankfully, with my Hulu, we had our generator hooked up to the TV and the Wi-Fi, so I actually was able to watch it. And then we preserved the rest of our generator fuel for the space heater, of course. So, anyway, it has not come back on. We have had no power for uh, 12 hours now. So this is why we are unthawing the snow because we have no water, because we have no electricity. Birds are doing great. As you can see, Ruby, I've got Molly, Cairo over there. They're making a huge mess, of course. And with not having power, it's hard to vacuum up all of those nutshells. Yes, fine. He didn't break the door. So oh, good, good. It. Okay. So, we are gonna be using this not only to uh, dump out our toilets, once it melts, you can use that to clean your toilets when you don't have water or power. And then also we have to get some extra water for the horses. We're ice picking their water trough. Okay guys, I'm back. I told you these are gonna be multiple clips because literally it's just been like such a crazy experience the last like now three days. I'm so tired because I did not sleep on Valentine's Day on Sunday night because we brought the birds in from the bird building at midnight 
the power went off. It was to be expected. We were prepared that all the birds were in kennels and then the larger birds we brought inside. They were hanging out in another room that's warm with our generator on purchase. My son Chandler is learning so many life skills. You got the firewood? Good job, Texan. So he's learning all of these life skills just from these life adventures that we, we don't like it because I hate snow and I hate the cold. Look at this nice check. Ooh. Okay, we are just, I mean, literally, can you believe this is just like from our land. True homesteaders now. True homesteaders and thank you. This is all like, we have a lot of Native American spirits. If you watch my past videos, you're going to hear that all the time. Well, yeah, there's really a reason for it because we've literally actually seen them. We've, we've, the spirits are here and we've heard them in good, good ways. We're so blessed. Look how goofy you look, Molly. Are you just hanging out with the winter storm? The historical Texas storm. You must be really hungry. You didn't even try to bite me. OMG. You totally got the macadamia nut open. Oh my gosh, guys. This is so fun. Practice makes perfect. Oh, sorry, Mikey. Are you freaking out? We had a big mess to clean up. So we used our generator to vacuum. It's sunny. It is only three degrees. We've got lots of wood for the fireplace but very bitter cold. Donkeys are doing good. Horses are doing good. Where'd your nut go? We have now been without power for six hours, but we have the fireplace going. Everyone's nice and toasty. Down in those rooms, there are warmer rooms, and that's where all the bird kennels are from our parrot rescue. I'm so tired, that's why I'm talking so quietly. Lots of snow out front. I will keep you updated, guys. It's supposed to get bad again tonight. Lower five to three degrees Fahrenheit with extreme windshield.